we have first place James Bygrave. He played Cell Return of the Ultimate Life Form and went 5 0. Now, you know, I people always talk about what are the best green decks, and it's usually Sun, uh, Super Saiyan Sun Goku, the beginning of a legend, or the uh, what's it called, the Ultimate Train Sun Gohan, the, the green Gohan deck, right? But I still think Cell is underrated when it shouldn't be. I mean, the deck got 5 0, and Cell has gained massive, massive support over the years and green as a whole is just getting better which makes me think is cell the best green deck right now or is it sun goku or is it gohan some people still think gohan is still a deck even though gohan did get hit i think that green players are slowly turning to um ultimate life form cell numbers uh two, well second place we have travis holmes super saiyan for vegeta sparking portal warrior I'm just going to say this. Throughout all the regionals of events, sometimes you see, well, for the most part, you'll see a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Sparky Retire Warrior, right? What I would say is this. Do not sleep on that deck. It's actually one of the best black decks next to Hatch. Some people think Hatch is better than SS4 Vegito, which I actually think it is. But let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But um, SS4 Vegito is very broken. In a sense of the, the the battle cards that you get to play, right? Your double strike and your barrier and your blocker, and you get to restand at the end of the turn, right? And the fact that I I believe some players are sleeping on SS4 Vegito because there's so much going on right now in the game. I think it's easy to forget that people still play it. Yeah, well, players who know the match just understand, but I, I just think just overall, if you get used to playing different decks, you go, oh wait, SS4 Vegito is still a deck. But it's, it's a very powerful deck. Third place, we have Justin Beatty. He plays Cell Return of the Ultimate Life Form. Another prime example of green being played. Now, when you look at the, the roster of the deck being played, you don't see Gohan. That doesn't mean Gohan is bad. I just think that players are discovering new tricks with Gohan. So kudos to him. Fourth place, you have uh, Barrier. Hussein, I hope you. I hope I said your name right. He plays Super Saiyan Son Goku, beginning of a legend. And like I say, as it's Cell Goku and Gohan are probably the best green decks, um, best three green decks, right? Unless they do something else. Um, even Green Vegito, people are speculating that it might be a fun deck, but I don't think it would add up to these three. I think Cell Goku and Gohan, the green ver the green decks would be up to par. But you guys know that Super Saiyan. Uh, Son Goku is known for his Bardock Unison and the Z Car U4 and playing the 8 draw that gets rid of stuff on the field and hand advantage. So, having the Cell deck and the Super Saiyan Son Goku deck, those green decks, two different leaders, but they have two, they have the same formula with Cell's Kamehameha, uh, the green blocker in the game, uh, potential dormant. I, I mean, dormant potential <laughs> you know rebrand so those cards do require maybe people have forgot about hand advantage number five well uh, fifth place we have a uh, chartarian um he played dark king mechiko bar restored to the throne dark king mechiko bar is definitely a slept on black leader not remember it as any saint hilaire had said years ago it's all about the pilot of the deck Mega Cabrera does not suck. It's a really great deck. And you can still use some of the black support from other decks into that deck as well. And it's pretty aggro at turn three. In sixth place, we got my boy Evo Mayano playing Hatchiak. Malice assimilated Evo. Uh, my guy, one of the goats, one of the best players in the game. He plays Hatch all the time. And what's funny is that people sleep on Hatch. Now, he got sixth place. Uh, Evo, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments. Did you play against an SS4 Vegito? And if so, did you lose? I heard that uh, SS4 Vegito can beat Hatch, but I don't know. I'm just asking. Oh, what would you match up? I'd like to ask you that. Uh, but, you know, Hatch is still around. Hatch has been around since, since the beginning. And it did got some new support. Not as in for the theme. I think it did in a couple sets ago. But just new black cards that's coming to the, uh, to the deck. Seventh place, we have Jordan Suarez. He plays Son Goku face off with the great Demi King. Now, you guys know that this the red skillless deck that came out recently is aggro. It's known for skillless 
30k uh hitters right so the deck is i don't know much about it i haven't played against it but if you guys are playing it let me know in the uh, comments because i can do a webcam match i love to i would love to learn how to play this uh deck especially with fest coming up I'm, there's a good chance i'll be going um but let me know in the comments but i, I noticed that yes raiders aggro Running skillless and using it from a different unique is a lot stronger than it was in the past. So people are going to play it. So the fact that it did get seven plays, and this ain't this is the first time. I think I know Legends um top with this deck as well. The deck is not bad. Legends top with it as well, not too long ago. So you need to be on the lookout for that. And in eight place, we do have Anthony Injik, who played Ranjin Boo Shape Shifter. When Majin Buu first came out, I made a post up, I made a video about it saying that my this blue deck in particular is underrated. It's actually really good. And to this day, I think you should not sleep on Majin Buu. Now, due to the fact that Soul Striker has been making a slow comeback, because it's a popular character, right? Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? But this fact that Majin Buu Shade Shifter is being played and topping in events. That means that, yeah, this deck is pretty good. And if you think about it, they have a high defense. But that one, it's that one Majin Buu card. Um, it's the, it's the, you, you tap one, you play it. It's blocker barrier. I think it's limit one. Um, but they have a high defense. They get to use blue staples like the Oob, right? And then you have the Z leader as a whole. And then you have the Majin Buu SCR. I haven't checked the deck list. I'm not going to assume what SCR he played because I'll be giving you all false information. But I know that the Majin Buu SCR is actually pretty good because you're comboing from your, from, I think, from your opponent's side of the field. He could have used Hatch or could have used Divine Divinity or Super Saiyan 3, Wrath of the Dragon. Who knows? But we'll check it out, and the link will be in the description. I want to know you guys' thoughts about this. Um, you know, there wasn't, from the from the top eight decks, I didn't see a yellow U7. Um, there wasn't a blue-yellow Gogeta. have not seen... A like I say, green behind in the top. I'm pretty sure it's played at the event. But what are you guys thoughts about these uh, decks topping? Are you guys going to try to try out Majin Buu Shape Shifter? Are you guys going to stick with the decks that you guys are currently working with and just making sure it works at your best? I think that loans. Uh, I think any deck because Ultimate Cell, the Ultimate Cell deck was made to be played for. It was it was made to be a custom deck. It was made to be good, right? It was made to be played for people to get into it. But to see anything from it's like you have two or three leaders from different sets, right? But anything currently from perfect combination to now, despite the hatch leader and the sale return and in, in the in the uh Mecha Kabora, um, I think people are, are gravitating to decks that they enjoy playing, but also making sure it works. But anyway, I gotta go. I'm W7. Have a happy Labor Day and remember the Lord loves you. Bye. Uh, oh, and it's been going crazy.